Hey guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this episode of Funfair Frenzy, we will be building the first roller coaster in the park, which is going to be a, a classic wooden coaster. Um, the reason I've gone for this is I've gone for the sort of style of uh, I've got, well, the, the sort of style of like a uh, classical um, Big Dipper sort of ride. That uh, you know, if you think of somewhere like Blackpool Pleasure Beach, um, you know, re really, uh, really ancient uh, or just kind of vintage style roller coaster. Uh, lots of dips, lots of airtime, um, no inversions on the, on a wooden roller coaster, but I just kind of wanted to keep it compact in the sense of it's very thin, so that the track kind of goes along itself, um, and you know just just lots of lots of dips and uh, and drops really, and I wanted it to I wanted it to kind of sit behind the Ferris wheel so that as you come in it's it's there in the background it's you know that that is the that's the sort of landscape that you see as you come in so that that was the thought process behind doing it um and obviously you just had to get it testing just to make sure it went round but with uh, with you know with the little short hills and, and dips that we've put in uh, it's just a case of making sure that um you know you, you, the climbs are not any bigger than the dips otherwise it doesn't get over um I also realised when I was testing it, it came around that last corner quite quickly, which is why I've just added that last little section onto the ride. But I think it works quite well. Um, I also didn't want the uh, just on the station there. I wanted the exit just to be as short as possible, coming straight off to the main path, and the queue line can fill up the rest of that space that is in between the track there. Uh, I will over the over, you know over the coming episodes in this park. Um, I will be planting sort of trees and rides and attractions all the way around the coaster. So although it kind of stands out uh, at the minute and by the end of this, there won't be a massive amount of theming around the whole of the coaster. There will be, you know, uh, as I say, in episodes to come, there will be things placed around there. You may have noticed on the on the block section, I've just I've, I've just been testing on it that as the uh, as the trains climb, the trains were queuing up at the, the top of the hill. So I've just had to adjust how. Um, how quickly they uh, they are released from the station um, and just kind of adjust the way that the block section works really. Um, I have fitted another chain around the track so that the uh, so that the train at the top isn't waiting um, for very long, if at all, really. Once I uh, once I built the coaster, um, decided to start work on the station building. Nothing nothing too uh, fancy, and there's no particular idea or theme I'm basing it off. I want, as I say, because this is a, a bit of a fun fair co uh, park that I'm going for. I wanted, you know, sort of like a uh, all, all the buildings. I wanted to be sort of fun, um, sort of you know, crazy, wild colours. And obviously, with the, with the colour schemes we've got at the minute, with what the Ferris wheel being red, orange, and yellow, um, I thought this light blue kind of stood out really well. Um, this is just painted wood, um, just to match the match the coaster in terms of the material. And uh, yeah, and I, I don't I don't feel as though this needed much um, much theming inside, other than a few lights to you know to, to light the place up. Uh, and then it was just a case of playing around with the shape of the roof, really, just to um, just to get the you know just just get a bit of character to the building. As I mentioned before, there's going to be a lot of these flashing lights decorated around the park. So here's uh, here's that section complete now. So you won't have to you don't have to sit and watch me click all these light bulbs um, all the way all the way on the outside of the building. Uh, this is what I mentioned about the queue line. I just wanted it to kind of take up this space. I could, I, you know, I could have spent time putting planting in there, but I feel as though if I, went, I feel as though I wanted to go for a sort of classic, um, classic sort of uh, British queue line. Um, I know in a lot of theme parks in the UK, they, you know, a, a lot of queue lines are um, sort of like a, a cattle pen, really. They're, they're very much a, a grid system. So uh, yeah, I thought if I put a bit of that in and then have a bridge over the track. I thought that would uh, that would work really well, and then the guests are sort of in the middle of the coaster as they're queuing up for it. So uh, yeah, really uh, really pleased with that sort of layout. Uh, here's me just moving on to the roof. As I mentioned, I want a bright colours. Um, it's not often you're going to get light blue tiled roofs, but um, yeah, I just just wanted a bit of a you know just want to have a bit bit of fun with the, with the style of the building. Um, and, I, and I will be doing that with with all buildings. Each one will look slightly different. And as I say, there's no particular. No particular theme or style of building that I'm basing it off. It all of them will have the, just their own character, trying to trying to match the ride that they're based on, I suppose. Uh, you know, hence why I've gone for a wooden style building here. But uh, that that is all that is all the theme um, that I'm you know that I'm using. Really, everything else is just sort of 
um, build it and see. <laughs> and yeah, that that you know, I'm, I'm pleased with how it turns out. Uh, it you know, it does stand out definitely as a uh, as a building. Whether you th whether you think it stands out for the right reasons is entirely down to you. But I'm I'm pleased with it nonetheless. Uh, just wanted to put the lights on the top of the building there, uh, and that's what it looks like at night time. Um, just a little bit around the track, I just wanted the coaster to have uh, another element to it. So I wanted to have a sort of um, a head chop element, if uh, if you would. So where you know you kind of flying past something really quickly, and it looks like. You know, it looks like you are going to crash into it. That, that's that's what you would call a head, a head chopper element. Um, and that's what I wanted to do here. I just want to have a, a short little tunnel that kind of, you know, made made the roller coaster look really compact inside. And because of the speed that the train is going at, you know, it, it almost doesn't look safe, but it is safe. That That's kind of the uh, that's kind of the idea with it. Just wanted to, uh, yeah, just thought adding this around here just um, gave the coaster another element, I suppose. Um, Again, there's not not much um, not much else to say on this bit other than I'll, I'll be putting in some mist um, in here just to, just so that when they go through, you know, there's a uh, smoke or mist that they can that they can uh, fly through on the coaster. Uh, obviously, you just had to fill in the gaps there between the uh, level of the roof change because I, I have built it I have built it over a small small climb there, so I just had to fill in these gaps here, uh, and that is the uh, that is the short little tunnel we've got going on there. Um, my plan for the next couple of episodes, um, I kind of want to focus on one side of the park, so I'll probably continue in the side that I've been building so far, where we've got the seating area and the uh, and the two flat rides. I'll probably build going around that way and uh, and then sort of meet up on the other side. Um, not sure on what the next attraction is going to be yet. I'll probably see, you know, I'll probably have a have a look to see what I think fits in around the different rides. I don't want, as I say, I don't want anything. Um, massive that stands out as i say the um other than this wooden roller coaster which is again a classical style of coaster that's that's what i'm aiming for so uh yeah here's uh, here's the on ride footage of the coaster um so yeah let's enjoy And there we go. Um, as a, you know, it, it's not. Um, it's never. It was never going to be the most thrilling of coasters. Um, but wooden coasters are always about. You know, always about the, the air time that you get from going down, going down a big drop, going back up again, and then going to another drop. So, and that that's what this roller coaster does does sort of provide. It, you know, there is quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of air time going off. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm you know, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I, at the minute, I've called it Wood Run. Um, probably not the greatest name in the world. So again, if you do have name suggestions, would be very much appreciated because I, I was kind of scratching my head really as to what I could uh, what I could call this wooden coaster. Um, and then just filling in, just trying to link up the Ferris wheel there with the coaster. Just putting in some of these uh, some of these oak trees. Again, if we're basing it around a UK style park, the you know the oak trees are the sort of thing you'd see. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is it for this episode. Um, really pleased with that backdrop. Um, thank you for watching that, and if you have enjoyed that, please like and uh, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>